Welcome to the World Tarot. This is the series Divine Feminine Diaries for the 5th of July 2023. Somebody who watches this has a lisp and it's a karmic who has a lisp. It's a karmic female. Could be a Virgo with a lisp. First thing I'm picking up on. <laughs> two of Cups. Also Divine Feminine. Your Two of Cups is here. That's why she's watching. 58 or 85 could be significant. Right. It came out as 58. We'll put it like this. So the 5th of August or the 8th of May. Taurus and Leo energy. Again, Taurus and Leo could definitely be significant here. Or Capricorn. Right. Two of Wands, Ten of Pentacles. You're about to come into union with your masculine... Maybe your masculine is born in 85 or they're 58 or they're born in 58. Depends on your age group, I guess. There could be two men. I just said two men and another two came out. We have three twos here. Two men are coming towards you. 52 and 58 or 25 and 85 could be significant. Three of Wands. You've been manifesting love and now it's coming. There are two people coming. But which one can you trust? Six of Cups. I asked which one can you trust? It could be the one from your past or a past life soulmate. Six of Cups is now clarifying the King of Pentacles. So maybe that's the one you should trust. This could be an Earth sign or a Water sign. And then I've got Ace of Wands reversed for the other guy. And Four of Swords reversed. And the Knight of Wands. So there's a Fire sign most likely here or an Air sign. And you shouldn't deal with the fire sign or air sign because there's probably something wrong with long. I'm, I, what? Okay, it's long, but there's something wrong with it. There we go. Stay away from the Knight of Wands, King of Wands energy here. But there's another person here who is more appropriate for you. And then I've got King of Cups on the bottom of the deck. This could be the third person. There could be three men, actually interested in you okay clarify who the king of pentacles is seven of pentacles this could definitely be a capricorn with the king of pentacles and seven of pentacles both of these are capricorn energies as far as i know but it could be an earth sign in general this is somebody who is uh, very patient somebody who's very planning somebody who could have a business of their own 8-8 eight, eight could be significant 8th of august is in I almost said Aries season. No, it's not. It's Leo season, but Aries could be significant too. Right. So the patient person here might have children though. With the Six of Cups, that could talk about the fact that this person has children already. But their children could actually be grown up. So this could definitely be a message for um, people who are in their 50s, 60s, or 70s. 33 somebody could be 33 though so they don't necessarily need to be in their 50s 60s or 70s but this person has an more calm more um, mature kind of energy to them eight of swords six of wands there's a trap here or somebody's stuck in their mind about something Is there something wrong with this King of Pentacles? Eight of Wands. All of these cards flipped in reverse. We've got the Fool reversed. Queen of Wands reversed and Three of Pentacles reversed. This person could make a lot of foolish investments. Also, this person could be dealing with a Queen of Wands and the Queen of Wands could be causing issues for this man. This could be an ex or even a current partner. It could be a lover, five of swords. There are a lot of arguments between this man and possibly a current partner. The current partner could be 35 possibly or 53. Again, it depends on uh, the age group we're talking about. Three of pentacles, queen of swords, two of swords, four of pentacles. So 
this man might want to divorce somebody and the person doesn't want to let them go or this person is going through a divorce right now and uh, it could be very acrimonious that's what i'm getting with this king of pentacles here he could be in a karmic relationship still right three of cups there's a third party situation here but it's ending yeah look the queen of pentacles to the king of pentacles this could be a husband and a wife so this man is going through a divorce right now or will be soon then we've got this guy who's definitely out of the question what about the king of wands maybe you you love this king of wands because the queen of cups flipped over so this could be somebody you're still in love with but this person has been playing you what about the king of wands here five of wands this could be a leo specifically 15 is the devil which is Ca capricorn i almost said crappy corn he's a crappy corn not the capricorn or he's a leo seven of cups this guy's dealing with a lot of people and people are fighting over him <laughs> okay so this one's definitely out of the question we're gonna take him out bye bye <laughs> And this guy's still suffering through some kind of separation. Yes, exactly. But I feel like this person loves you. They're choosing you. You're the queen of their heart. Ace of Swords. That's a yes to what I said. Also, he's cutting somebody out. He's cutting out a third party situation because he chooses love. So there we go. Hmm. Wait a second. Because this King of Cups was coming up earlier too. So there could be a third choice here. Besides the two choices you already know. There could be a third choice that fits you the best, right? Because we've got King and Queen of Cups. So maybe this person who's going through a divorce or will go through a divorce is not really the man for you. Who's the King of Cups? Please clarify who the King of Cups is. So this person could be 49 or they're born in 94, April and I almost said August, September could be significant, 99, I've been seeing 99 a lot, 99 could also be significant, this person was born in 94 or 99 or they're 49, Knight of Pentacles, this person wants to make you an offer here. This is a new person. That's what I'm getting. 38 is also here. Maybe you're 38 and they're 49. Or this person is 49. I almost said 99. <laughs> they're born in 99. Or 96 is here too. Or 69. Or 38. Or maybe 83. Who knows? Anyway. This person could be stuck in their head. Because... They know there's some kind of third party situation. So maybe this man knows what's going on with you. Maybe he knows you've been put in a third party situation. Maybe you talk about these things publicly in one way or another. Two of cups. This person wants to mend your broken heart here. So this person has good intentions. There is a king of cups who actually has good intentions for you. But then I've got the nine of swords here. So this is anxiety. You could be dealing with anxiety a lot. Or this person's anxious or upset that you are not well. Holy Spirit, talk to me about this king of cups. Is this the person for queen of cups? Eight of cups. Walk away. Oh, good grief. Ten of swords. No, I think the King of Cups could be this King of Wands that came out earlier. So this person has two faces. Sometimes they're a King of Wands. Sometimes they pretend to be loving and uh, kind and to want a relationship with you. So we've got the Jackal and Hyde character here with the King of Wands, King of Cups. So that means the only option here is the King of Pentacles, basically. Yeah, it's true. Only the King of Pentacles is a viable option. But first he needs to get rid of the Queen of Swords. He needs to go through the divorce, Ten of Swords. And you need to end it with the King of Wands. So you need to take the King of Wands, King of Cups out of your heart. And this person needs to take the Queen of Swords, Queen of Pentacles out of their heart. And then you can be together. Four of Swords. Something needs to heal. Something needs to end and heal. 
five of swords 45 or 54 could be significant look five 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 change something needs to change And both you and this person need to let go of some past people. Queen of Pentacles and King of Pentacles. Like I said, this person is still married. They could be going for a divorce or maybe they're not yet. But yes, there's a separation that needs to happen here in this man's life. And you also need to leave, leave somebody behind. Somebody you're still hoping to have a reconciliation with. So that's what I'm getting here. 98 or 89 could be significant eight of cups somebody needs to walk away emotionally from something and they need to focus on growing and healing themselves and then they can have a new beginning and their wish fulfillment look 94 is here again or 49 i think that the past person was 49 right or born in 94 nine four six forty six June 94 could also be significant. Hmm, Five of Wands, conflict. There are a lot of people fighting over your attention here. But only one of these people wants to have stability with... Look, 94 came out twice. That's very interesting. So either somebody's born in 94 here or something happened in 94. Yes, Ace of Pentacles. Yes, this is significant for somebody. Quick King of Wands. This could be significant for a Leo or a Sagittarius. So two people were living together or working together. In 94 and somebody walked away. 75 could also be significant or 57. So there could be somebody who walked away in 94 who's coming back. Ten of Wands reversed. Somebody's dropping a burden and coming back. Yes. So it's this man who was married, he's getting divorced, and he's coming back to you. He could have been married since 94, possibly, or you dealt with this person in 94. Four of Wands. So there's going to be a union between you and your masculine. Your masculine was married to somebody else, and now they're divorcing and coming back to you. Yes, it's true. That's the case for somebody. If you still want to take them back. They don't want third party situations anymore. They want a balanced relationship. They realize that you are the queen of their heart. That they truly love you. Yeah, again, look at that. King and queen of hearts. So, this past person who married somebody else is coming back to you because they realize that they love you. So, it's up to you if you feel like you can take this person back. I was shown that the only person who is a vile... Oh my god, what was I about to say? A viable act what somebody's trying to put words in my mouth here viable action instead of viable option i wanted to say yeah what i said yeah the king of wands wants to put mount mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this past person is manipulating you and manipulating tarot readers to say what he wants them to say. And he's doing this spiritually. Because I'm literally having prunes in my mouth right now. And other words want to come out than the real words I'm trying to choose. Hmm. Okay, so stay away from the King of Wands, King of Cups. Go towards the King of Pentacles, King of Cups. <laughs> That's the true King of Cups. Victory, King of Pentacles. Yes, yes, this is a yes. Victory, Six of Wands. This is a yes, Ace of Swords. That's the clearest yes you can get. King of Pentacles, this earth sign. I think it's an earth sign. If not, it's a business owner or is somebody who is married or was married, somebody who's getting a divorce. This is the person. 
not the king of wands okay so there we go there's an option here there are two options but one of them is not valuable or viable they're a burden ten of wands this guy's the burden walk away from the burden reject the burden no reunion with the burden three of cups reversed he's a fool this person from your past they're both from your past so there are two people from your past but one of them could be from a more distant past than the other okay that's the message i've got for somebody today